This incredible story took place in the deep forests of Canada. James, an experienced park ranger, was patrolling the remote forest area as usual. Suddenly, he heard an unusual noise. A piercing echo reverberated through the trees. James paused, his senses heightened. The sounds resembled screams that sounded both inhuman and desperate. Despite the alarm bells ringing in his head, his gut instinct urged him to investigate the sounds. With every step, he came closer. Finally, he came across a scene that exceeded all his expectations. In front of him, in a clearing, lay a bear with its front right paw caught in a wildlife trap. In addition, its head was in a noose, and its hind legs were tangled in barbed wire. With every movement, the bear let out a painful groan. Instinctively, the ranger reached for his rifle. An encounter with a bear was no joke, especially not if the animal was injured. But this encounter was different. James sensed that the bear was begging for help. The man shed his initial concern, ignoring the lingering fear, and cautiously approached the distressed bear. James had to get closer to the trap to examine it. But as he approached, the bear lashed out with a powerful blow, a desperate attempt to protect itself from what it perceived as another threat. Then James did something shocking. He dropped his hunting gear, the only means of defense he had, and placed it on the ground. His disarmament was a promise that he meant no harm. Gradually, the bear calmed down. Perhaps the poor creature had met enough hunters in its life to understand that they were only dangerous when holding objects, and this person's hands were now empty. But that didn't change the fact that James was putting himself in grave danger. Any sensible person would refuse to get so close to such a large, unpredictable predator. The ranger knelt next to the bear and tried to gain its trust. Then he moved closer and cut the noose wrapped around its neck. The bear remained surprisingly calm and showed no signs of threatening the man. Then James moved on to the barbed wire. Upon closer inspection, he found that the wire had begun to dig into the bear's flesh. The animal's cries became louder as James carefully and meticulously removed the wire. Eventually, only the paw caught in the wildlife trap remained. If James freed this, the bear could easily attack him. But the man had no choice but to trust the animal. He gathered all his courage and released the paw from the trap. The bear was freed. James did not expect what happened next. Instead of jumping up, the bear remained lying in the same place. As James stepped back, he was overcome with sadness as he saw the full extent of the bear's injuries. Its fur was marked with deep wounds. After a few minutes, the bear gathered all its strength and stood up, unsteadily on its feet. Every step it took showed the toll of what had been done to it. The bear ran a few meters before collapsing again. James knelt next to the bear and spoke soothing words. He didn't want to leave the animal to fend for itself. Sooner or later, the poachers would find the bear and do the unthinkable to it. And that was only if nature didn't doom it first. Without hesitation, James picked up his phone, dialed the number of a local wildlife clinic, and asked for urgent help. The clinic quickly dispatched a team to his location. When the team arrived, the bear was immediately tranquilized and carefully examined. They determined that the bear had likely been trapped in this torturous manner for days, enduring hunger and pain. An infection had occurred, and surgery was deemed necessary to prevent further complications. Without immediate intervention, there was a strong possibility the bear would lose a leg. Working together, they carefully loaded the bear into a transport vehicle and reached the clinic 30 minutes later. Veterinarians and wildlife experts there worked to provide the bear with much-needed treatment. The wounds were cleaned, antibiotics administered, and the gaping wounds stitched with meticulous precision. To James's dismay, after the doctors completed their work, they revealed a disturbing truth. The bear was not an isolated incident. There had been several reports of other wild animals with similar injuries in recent weeks. The revelation that other animals had suffered the same fate enraged James. In the following days, the bear remained heavily sedated and under close observation at the clinic. As the animal gradually regained its strength, hospital staff discussed the possibility of releasing it back into the wild. But James rejected this idea. There was no point in releasing the bear when there was a group of people out there intent on doing harm. The poor animal would probably fall into a trap again. 
and this time might not be lucky enough to be discovered in time. The staff agreed, but had no other choice. They simply didn't have the space or resources to house the bear for more than a few days. Without thinking, James began a race against time to find the culprit before the bear was released. With the evidence collected at the clinic, he turned to the police. Together with animal control, they began investigating the case. But that wasn't enough for James. He knew he had to take matters into his own hands. He set up surveillance cameras at the forest's most popular hunting spots, but to no avail. The days passed, and James didn't have a trace. Veterinarians would soon release the bear into the wild. But on one fateful night, James was woken up by a wildlife camera alarm. Adrenaline rushed through his body. He immediately jumped up and set off into the forest with a flashlight. With trembling fingers, James began to follow the tracks. Every little movement in the dark of night made his heart beat faster. He soon realized that the footsteps led deeper into the forest, to a secluded area he rarely patrolled. Suddenly the sound stopped, and an eerie silence fell over the trees. James held his breath as he stepped into a clearing. In front of him was a freshly laid trap, but before he could do anything, a branch snapped behind him. He turned around and saw a dark figure approaching him. Without thinking, he jumped at the figure and overpowered it after a short but fierce struggle. It was the man who had set the traps. James immediately called the police, who arrested the man and secured the remaining evidence. During interrogation, the man confessed to his crimes and revealed all the locations of the traps he had set up. Authorities found and disarmed all the traps. But the story was to have an unexpected twist. Over the next few days, the bear recovered and was released back into the wild. Using their combined efforts, they carried the bear to a pickup truck. Then James and the team took the bear deep into the forest. But when the bear finally reached freedom, it did something unusual. Instead of immediately running away and disappearing into the undergrowth, it stopped a few meters from the car and looked back one last time. It seemed to thank the people for their help. At that moment, James and the other rangers began to cry. The bear turned its gaze forward and finally disappeared into the thick trees.